Did you know that Little Chief's Child Care is expanding their Juniper Street location? This great new place across from Moses Lake Clinic is designed just for preschool and school-age children. For over eight years, Little Chief's kids like me have found the love and attention every child needs to be healthy and happy. The grown-ups there have gone to college so they know how to make sure kids from 1 month to 12 years old have a great place to learn and play. Come join our growing Little Chief's tribe. Welcome back. I'm Bob Kirkpatrick with today's sports. It was a beautiful afternoon for track and field when the Chiefs hosted Davis and Wenatchee in a dual meet at Moses Lake High School Wednesday. The Lady Chiefs took full advantage of the ideal weather conditions to dominate the girls' competition, beating the Panthers 94-56 and racing past the Pirates 120-29. The Moses Lake boys split the meet, besting Davis 90-50 and losing to Wenatchee 95-45. Alicia Overland proved why she is ranked in the top 10 in the state at the 4A level in several track events. Overland placed first in the 100, 200, and 400 meters, first in the 300 hurdles, and was also a member of the first place 4x100 relay team. The Chiefs boys team had a handful of top five finishes on the day. The highest placers of the meet were Colton Rose, who took first in the shot put, and Ben Crowell, who finished first in the triple jump. Jackson Welch, performing in his first meet of the year for Moses Lake, placed third in the competition. Next stop for the Chiefs is the first round of the 4A Big 9 District Track Meet at Eastmont High School, May 22nd. Big Ben Baseball hit the road to Pasco yesterday looking to sweep a doubleheader from Columbia Basin College and remain in contention for the fourth and final playoff spot out of the NWAC East Region Conference. But the Vikings dropped both contests and were eliminated from postseason play. Big Ben, with 11 wins and 15 losses, finishes the season at home with a doubleheader with the Blue Mountain Timberwolves Saturday. The first game is scheduled for a 1 p.m. start. The first round of the NFL Draft is tonight at Radio City Music Hall in New York City. The Seahawks have the 32nd overall pick. Projections for the player the Hawks will take with their selection are mixed. Many believe the secondary needs depth, while receiver is also a position of concern. Draft prognosticators also think Seattle may trade its first round pick for additional late round picks. Rounds two and three of the draft are tomorrow night. Rounds four through seven will be held Saturday. The Mariners and Athletics split an afternoon doubleheader in Oakland Wednesday. Fill-in starter Drew Pomerantz pitched five scoreless innings for his second win in his past 20 starts, and the Oakland Athletics salvaged a split of the doubleheader by beating the Seattle Mariners 2-0 in the nightcap. The Mariners overcame a shaky start from ace Felix Hernandez to win the opener 6-4 on Justin Smoke's two-out single in the 10th inning. Seattle kicks off a four-game series with the Kansas City Royals at Safeco Field tonight. Well, that's it for sports. We'll be right back after this.